Hello and welcome to our SURF tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to enter payments and receipts correctly into SURF. So from the dashboard, if you select the banking tab, you can enter receipts or payments using the appropriate link. So we're going to look at entering receipts first. So from here, you have two options. You can add receipts one by one, or you can use the quick add function to add multiple receipts. Now at this point, I'd just like to make two recommendations. Firstly, you should always have your invoices in SURF before you enter payments and receipts. At this point, if you haven't watched our tutorial videos on setting up customers, setting up suppliers, and creating purchase invoices and sales invoices, I would recommend you watch these first before entering receipts and payments. Also, you shouldn't enter receipts or payments unless they're showing on the appropriate bank statement. I wouldn't recommend anybody to mark something as paid in SURF just, just because a customer has said they are going to pay you. I would wait for it to show on your bank statement because you want for SURF to reflect your bank statements. If you enter receipts or payments, based on the intention of payment, then it's going to make it very difficult to reconcile your bank. And I'll show you that in your bank reconciliation tutorial video. So I'm going to do a quick add in terms of this receipt. So with this receipt, it's important that if you're adding quick receipts or quick payments, you make sure that they're all from the same bank account. If you're adding receipts or payments from different bank accounts, you'll have to enter them separately. Select the 1st of the 3rd, 2018. I'm going to enter that as my date. For payment type, you can pick cash, check, credit card, debit card, direct debit, electronic funds transfer, standing order, other, PayPal or credit transfer. For this, I'm just going to select EFT. And from here now, I'm going to look for my customer. So my customer for the moment is Stark, that's who's paid me, and the amount they've paid me is 200. I would recommend to leave the VAT code blank and not to enter VAT on receipts or payments. VAT should be entered when you're entering your sales invoices and your purchase invoices, not your receipts or your payments from your bank. So you can see it is selected the nominal code of 771. That doesn't represent an entry into my sales nominal code, but it just represents the bank account that the money is going to go into. So the next important point when you're entering receipts is to look for allocation. So at the moment I have an invoice from Stark for 200 and I would like to allocate this payment against that invoice. So if you select allocation, it shows you the invoice you have outstanding with Stark. So it shows the invoice amount, which is 200 and the fact that that 200 is unpaid. If you select to allocate the payment of 200 against this, it will clear the amount left to allocate. So save. And we're going to click save here to save that receipt. So you can see on my receipts page on the 1st of March, 2018, receipt number one, Via electronic funds transfer from Stark into my current account, I received 200 euro and it has been allocated. Ideally, we would like to see every receipt and payment allocated in SURF. Now you might remember from now you might remember from our tutorial on how to enter sales invoices that we had an outstanding balance under Stark. If I go back now into my customers, you'll see that my customer Stark has a balance of zero because I have allocated that payment against that invoice. If I didn't allocate the payment correctly against the invoice, even though I have invoiced Stark 200 euro and I have received 200 euro, I would still have a balance of 200 euro here. So if I return to my dashboard, so again, I can go add or quick add, and I'm going to select quick add. Let's say on the 28th of the 2nd, 2018, via direct debit, and select Ireland Electric, 
and enter a payment of 56.75. Now I'm not going to allocate that payment just to show you the difference it makes to our supplier homepage. So you can see here now I have two payments leaving my bank and I have a payment of 123 to account 123 and I have allocated that. Ireland Electric, same except it has not been allocated here so you can see the big red no there that we don't want to see. If you want to retrospectively allocate it you can click on the drop down menu here and look at your allocation. And again it will show you the invoices you have from Ireland Electric and the amount you have to allocate. So you can see I have 56.75 unpaid and I've made a payment of 56.75. So I can click that and save. And now you can see that that payment has been allocated against my purchase invoice. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that helpful.